Hello, YouTube family. Uh, Patty, the Tinker's wife here from Portland, Oregon. I am going to have a very short video this evening. Um, it's been a very long last three days, and um, there's some kind of heavy personal stuff going on. It's I'm not in any danger or anything like that. Um, but um, there's a battle. <laughs> just I'll leave it at that. I just um, wanted to check in and show you a couple things. I've got chili that's cooling in the other room, so in the house, and uh, I just wanted to say a quick hello and. I walked out into the garden and saw something that um, I think you might find interesting. A lot of you live uh, in southern areas. Some of you live as far north as we do. We're above the 45th parallel. And because we're above the 45th parallel, when vines grow, they tend to grow to the south. <laughs> uh, some plants will lean to the south. And I have a pretty good display of that right here in the garden this evening. So I'm going to turn the camera around and show you what I mean. Can you see those? Those are sunflowers and they are most definitely leaning to the south. It's interesting uh, growing things up here above the 45th and you know sometimes it's frustrating but I try I try to work with it I try to work with it so a lot of times when I plant things on trellises I'm gonna turn around here when I plant things on trellises I'll plant them this is the north side of the trellis and it'll be able to go up and then over without me having to work on it so hard but here where I have these cucumbers um, those I'm going to have to manage more. <clears throat> Excuse me. <coughs> I ate a hazelnut. I love hazelnuts. They're a wonderful nut that grows quite well up here, so we're very spoiled. <laughs> I don't have a hazelnut tree. We had the eastern filbert blight hit our production uh, farms here in Oregon and actually in the Pacific Northwest and so that really put a dent in them for a while they now have uh, varieties that don't get it so that's good so yeah I thought you might find the, that interesting about the leaning to the south um, I always I always find how plants work pretty interesting I'm going to show you my very happy little radishes i'm excited for those i know sometimes i feel like this is this is all just kind of boring just more garden pictures and more garden pictures but i suppose some of you find it find it interesting you well, know maybe it's just boring to me because this seems to be taking forever <laughs> it does well, i want to show you this because i love this plant that appears a little darker on my screen. I'll check it when I upload the video. There's another one. That's that Kenopodium. That, in the bright sunshine, those leaves are, are pretty bright green, and that um, magenta in the middle just pops. It's absolutely stunning. And I was out here snacking on the leaves of this with my neighbor boys when they came over to check the sunflowers. And uh, they like the thing, like the leaves. They do taste very much like lettuce. They're a little, little different texture, not as tender as lettuce. Oh boy, are these guys happy? Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> Look at this. This was down to here just a week ago, and it's just like in the last couple days, it's just shot up. So it's got its roots under it and going strong, and that's what's happening to all of these. We haven't had a lot of really warm, warm weather. It's been in the 60s for a while. This is uh, Barry's Crazy Cherry here, and the other one was Brad's Atomic Grape. And I have some kind of seedling here that looks like 
it is um, a nightshade family. I'm just letting it grow, seeing what it is. I have no idea what it is. Isn't that funny? Things come up. When you get used to growing plants, you find you can tell sometimes by their seedlings what they are or the family they're in, which is fun. That's one of the things I enjoy in the garden. And it's surprising how many times in compost I've actually got plants that I, I wanted to keep. And that was great too. Oh, one other thing I want to share. Oops. This is going to be a little wonky. I have got to get this figured out because I'm, I don't know about you, but when I look at those videos, I'm like, oh, I feel so bad for my viewers. <laughs> we'll get it down. We'll get it down. Anyway, yesterday, my husband's family, some of his family from Ava, Missouri, uh, called and said they were in town and we got to spend a couple hours with them. What sweet people. I am so thankful I got to meet them. And uh, we're looking forward more than ever to heading down to the Shindig 2020 next spring and getting to see them and uh, hopefully some of you. Um, I really, <laughs> I really, really, really want to meet Andrea and Ben and, and their kids. I just love that family. I feel like, I feel like they are my family. Um, Ben is so much like my son in, in a lot of ways and a good father as my son is. Um, so, and Andrea is just such a, a sweet woman and such a strong person. And, and I know many of you are also good people. And I, that's one of the things that attracts me to this community, to the homesteading community and those who are um, gardening and things like that, especially the homesteading community. It's a strong, uh, relational community and that's really important to find whether you find it online or whether you find it in the world around you specifically your city town or countryside it's very important to find good people who you can support and who support you yeah it is they won't be perfect therein lies my battle Anyway, um, whew, okay, <laughs> I suppose I should probably get off here. My chili is probably cool enough to eat now. Um, I just wanted to make this video before I uh, didn't get one out today. So this will be getting out tonight. It's now, let's see, about six, I think, here. And so um, most of you, it'll be... 9 30 10 o'clock before you see this or maybe tomorrow morning some of you go to bed quite early and i understand that uh, working in horticulture as i did um, even even gardens require you to get up early when you work in them as a profession so uh, i'm just going to bid you all a fond ado and i thank you for spending time with me i want to thank everyone who's subscribed the last time i've looked at my subscriber numbers it was sitting at 149 and it did that for a couple two three days and i haven't checked it at all today because i haven't been online at all today except for to do this so anyway i'm just so grateful for all of you for the time you spent for the comments that you make um and if you're new to the channel thank you for coming and and taking time to uh, look at the videos and to see if there's anything that you like here and I hope you do and I, I hope that you will subscribe um, but again I just say thank you and I want to say this is Patty the Tinkerer's wife signing off and God bless you God bless you richly bye bye